Hello, <clears throat> and uh, welcome to another Raggy's Craft Beer Review. So today, um, we're nipping over to Hina in Derbyshire, but not for Hina for long, because they've been, they're moving to Alfreton. This is from Alter Ego Brewing. This is their Alien Foam Party. I will read what it says on the can. Our first Kolsch beer. Clean and clean and crisp, delicately balanced beer hopped to the UK variety Holly Karna. Um ABV is I did see it somewhere a minute ago. Uh, four point seven percent. So look at the artwork. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So Colch Cannon there it says what that means. So, let's pour this open. Colch. Colch is a lager, isn't it? Sure. Um, I'll have a look later. Certainly looking lagerish to me. So slightly hazy, lots of carbonation, centimetre of head, and uh, yeah. It says, so Kolsch is a lager, yeah. I do know these things, it's just half the time I just forget, I've had a long day at work, and uh, yes, a few elements, uh, something did me nothing today, shall we say. Somewhat lager malt aroma. Oh, bite it at the front end. Um, clean, crisp, refreshing. So yeah, uh, Alter Ego, they're moving their brewery and um, they're moving from Hina to Alpherton to a bigger brewery and it's going to be opening a tap room up. So that's amazing. You know, it's, it's, it's awesome to see the progress. I mean, they've won Zebra Awards in the last year and they've also got a micro pub in Losco in Derbyshire. So... This is a Derbyshire a brewing company, um, which, funnily enough, is not at Derby's Beer Con this weekend. Um, begs the question, why? And as one of the up-and-coming craft beer breweries across the East Midlands, I would have thought they would have been there, you know. Is there something else at play? You never know. I suppose there's a slight click in this, but... Uh, I don't know. It's not really for me to say. Although, hence I do have an opinion. You know, it is what it is. So, yeah. Um, just going down the neck nice. I mean, this is the sort of beer that if they're going to have... Um, tap room this on the in the tap room is a good thing because it um for those who like a lager drink or lager-esque this is a perfect drink for that you know just for that so yeah in that respect fair play Ooh. It's just hitting the spot nicely. I just needed the beer. Bit of day. Can't always have great days, can you? Something peed me off and it was super hard to, you know, just turn off my peed off feelings. And, um, yeah. But, you know, sometimes you just have to write a line across and think right that's the way it is 
you know, yeah. So I've got to be honest, I'm not uh, the Kolsch style itself. Uh, I, I'm no professor of styles. What I can tell you is it's tasting really, really good. Um, uh, yeah. Getting emails when you're doing day reviews. All good fun. But yeah, it's looking great. There's an aroma and I, I can't, I know the aroma, I thought I got a bit of palm of violet in the aroma at one stage, but there's an aroma there, but I just can't put my finger on what the actual aroma is. It's tasting great. It's going to be perfect in the tap room, because for somebody who wants, like I said, a lager experience somebody who doesn't drink real ales but wants to come uh, this is that 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 you know that lager experience that I appease that type of person albeit you have to have lemonade with it for my wife because she likes a shandy and she drives as well so shandy's for her jobs of women Although she'll end up probably having a cola because she won't want to drive with any, any beer at all in her system. So, whereas some people have a couple of beers, two pints, and keep driving. Some people more, you know. Bloody hell. I used to know somebody I used to work with. He lived a mile and a half from the pub. And he would take his car to the pub then drive home. No matter how much he drank. Back in the day, mind you. And uh, I mean, he's only driving down. He's not going on any main roads, so he's literally driving down from the pub, down one road and around the corner. But still, then it takes you to one bad judgment, and you've wiped somebody's car out, and uh, you know, or oh, even worse, you know. So yeah, tasting really well. Um, yeah, uh, nice, uh, different sort of beer from well, lager. From the uh, alter ego. For me, a good 4.2 out of 5. And uh, yeah, lager beer. Lager. Ooh, get in. And that's it for this review. Thank you for watching. And now I'm going to have a good sleep on the settee because I'm tired. Mentally tired.